Hi, in this video we'll be looking at scan location indicators, the scene explorer palette for turning items on and off in our scene window, and then finally importing models or OBJ files into our project. If I click on the scene window and choose set scan location indicators, we'll locate our scans, select those, click add and then accept. You can see here our scan indicators have been added to our scene. Now currently the spheres are gray and that's because the scans have not been loaded or added to the scene. As we can see here, this cloud icon is currently empty. Now to add scans into the scene window, typically you would select the scans folder and drag and drop that into the scene or choose an individual scan or multiple scans and drag and drop those into the scene. Well, we can also add scans by clicking on a scan location indicator and choosing add point cloud. Or by holding the shift key on the keyboard, we can select multiple scan indicators and then right click and choose add point clouds. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And we can see here the progression of the scans loading. When a scan is finished loading, we'll notice the icon here turns green. And if we take a look at these spheres, for example, this one here, scan five, the sphere is green, which matches the display color of that particular scan. We can center on a scan indicator by clicking and then pressing C on the keyboard. And that will center the camera on the location where the scan was taken. We'll notice the scans that have not been loaded, such as scan eight is still gray. We can see it has not been loaded here. To hide the indicators, simply right click and choose hide scan indicators. I'm going to select the scans folder and add the remaining scans. Next, we'll take a look at the scene explorer palette. So first I'm going to select the pipelines here and drag and drop that into the scene window. And we can see here I've created a center line off an existing pipe. So now let's move over to the scene explorer palette. And if you don't see that on your screen under tools, click scene explorer. And here we can turn items on or off such as all of the scans. We can turn off individual scans. And we can do the same thing with our pipelines. Turn that on or off. And if we have multiple pipes, turn those on or off individually. Next, we're going to look at loading a model file or an OBJ file. So first, I'm going to move back to the Project Explorer now here I have a folder called pipe section scans. So let's double click on the first one and that will create a brand new scene. And I'm going to drag and drop these scans into the scene window. So what we see here is just a portion of the scan data from scene one, where I took this particular pipe and using the selection tools, I selected an area of pipe and exported that and that's where we get this scan data section here. So let's select our pipelines and drag and drop that into the scene two. All right. Now I took these center lines and exported them as a DXF file. And when I did so, I brought those into Autodesk's Plant 3D. And we can see the center line here. So let's turn off the point cloud and the pipe model. We can see our center line. I'm going to turn the point cloud back on. That was also exported from Cohera 3D piping. This was as a TXT file and then brought into recap and then imported obviously into 
Autodesk Plant 3D. So using the center lines from Cohera 3D piping, then created pipe model, including the supports. Then I took this and exported it as an OBJ file. So let's switch back to Cohera 3D piping. And now we'll look at importing an OBJ or model file. So I'm going to highlight the models folder, right click, choose open. Switch the file type to K3M OBJ. And then here I have my OBJ file, pipe section one solids, click open. I'll accept the defaults here. Now I'm going to go back to the Scene Explorer and turn off these pipelines. Select my model and drag and drop that into the scene. Next, I'm going to switch over to Scene 1 where I have all of the scan data. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag and drop the pipe model into the scene, switch over to Scene Explorer, and turn off the center lines or the pipelines created from the scan data. So now I can take my Plant 3D model here, take a look at it with all of the surrounding scan data. I'm going to click a point center and then set spotlight for more detail. And this will allow me to inspect and see if I have any clashes between the scan data and my pipe model. So everything looks good. That ends our getting started part three tutorial. And we'll see you in another video. Thank you.